Hey guys, today's topic of discussion is uh, 802.11 standards. So first of all, we will look uh, what is uh, 802.11 standard, then uh, 11A, B, G, N, AC, and uh, what are the other standards. So in the year 1997, IEEE, that is uh, Institute of Electrical and uh, Electro Electronics Engineers, created the first Dublin standard. Unfortunately, what happens? This A02.11 only supported a maximum network bandwidth of uh, 2 Mbps, which is uh, too slow for most of the applications. For this reason, A02.11 wireless products are no longer manufactured. A02.11 standard use the same unregulated radio signal frequency of 2.4 GHz. So coming to this 802.11A standard, while 802.11B was in development I triply created a second extension to the original 802.11 standard that is called 802.11a. 11a was created at the same time but due to its higher cost 802.11a is usually found in business networks whereas 11b better solves the home network 11a supports a bandwidth of 254 mbps which works in the regulated frequency spectrum of 5 gigahertz so here uh, we will see a couple of things, what are the pros, what are the cons of this standard. Pros of 11A are like this. Maximum speed, whatever the regulated frequencies prevent signal interference. the regulatory frequencies prevent signal interference from other devices. If you look at the cons of 11A, this is uh, highest cost and the range is certain in comparison to 11B. The higher frequency also means 11A signals have more difficulty penetrating walls and uh, other obstructions. 11B standard. I triply expanded on the original 802.11 standard in July 1999, which create, creates 11B specification. 11B supports bandwidth up to 11 Mbps which can be comparable to the traditional Ethernet. 11B standard also used the same unregulated radio signal frequency of 2.4 GHz. So if you look at the pros of 11B Vendors often prefer using these frequencies 
to lower their production costs. Basically, this is the main motivation factor to lower their production cost. And obviously, signal range is good. Con side slowest maximum speed. Its speed is very less. And uh, this is unregulated. 11B gear can incur interference from microwave ovens, cordless phones, and uh, other appliances using the same 2.4 gigahertz range. Because all these uh, microwave oven cordless phones, this kind of appliances are working on 2.4 gigahertz. That's the reason interference is more. However, by keeping 11B gear a reasonable distance from other appliances, interference can easily be avoided. If you keep in a particular distance and walk, this interference can be avoided. The next standard is 11G. In the year 2002 and 3, Dublin products supporting a newer standard called 11G came into the market. 11G attempts to combine the best both 11A and 11B. 11G supports bandwidth up to 54 Mbps and it works in 2.4 GHz frequency. The same as 11A. 11A speed is up to 54 Mbps but that was working in 5, MB, 5 GHz bandwidth. But this works on 2.4 GHz whereas the data rate is 54 Mbps. This standard is backward compatible with 11B. This is again pro side uh, fast maximum speed and the signal range is obviously good. But cons side if you look at it, costs are a little bit more than uh, 11B products. Appliances may interfere on the unregulated signal frequency. 11N standard. So this 11N is a standard which improves upon the previous 11 standards by adding uh, a concept called uh, MIMO that is uh, multiple input, multiple output antennas. Also, they added a concept called wider channel width of uh, 40 megahertz. Whereas uh, in the older standards, the channel width was uh, 20 megahertz. Special streams of up to 4 and uh, higher order modulation technique 64 QAM has introduced in 11N. This standard operates on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands and uh, its net uh, data rate changes from 72.2 Mbps up to 600 Mbps. The IEEE has approved the amendment and it was published in the year October 2009. On the pro side, this is the fastest maximum speed and the signal range over earlier Wi-Fi standards due to increased signal intensity is good. More resistant uh, to signal interference from outside resources. This is backward compatible with the uh, earlier 802.11 standards, 
ए बी जी इक्विपमेंट सोचो कौन साइड कॉस्ट आर मोर देन ऑलिव सपोर्टेड स्टैंडर्ड डिवाइसेस देन कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड कॉल्ड एट जीरो टू पॉइंट एलेवन ए सी स्टैंडर्ड एट जीरो टू पॉइंट वन वन ए सी इज एन अमेंडमेंट टू आई ट्रिपल ई एट जीरो टू पॉइंट वन वन विच पब्लिश इन द इयर डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी थर्टी इफ यू लुक एट द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ दिस स्टैंडर्ड मेनली दे एड एट द वाइड चैनल्स दैट इज एटी मेगाज एंड वन सिक्सटी मेगाज ऑल एंड इट वॉज देर अप टू फोर्टी मेगाज which works in 5 gigahertz band more special strips up to 8 versus 4 higher modulation scheme that is 256 qua addition addition of multi user mimo that is mu mimo earlier it was mimo okay so again data rate increased drastically that is in gbps earlier it was in mbps so for an example if you look at it in 802.11n 40 megahertz 2 cross 2 device earlier it was 300 mbps now in 11ac 40 80 megahertz 2 cross 2 device the speed becomes 866.7 mbps that is uh, almost more than double and uh, 11ac standard supports devices are uh, very much cost other standards if you look at from 802.11 so there are so many other different standards release after the 11ac also 802.11 AD. So this is an amendment that defines a new physical layer of 802.11 networks to operate in the 60 megahertz spectrum. This is basically dedicated to 60 megahertz spectrum. Okay. 802.11 AF. IEEE 802.11 AF standard is an amendment which allows WLAN operations in TV wide space spectrum. This is a separate technology. So this 11 AF standard is for TV wide space spectrum. 802.11 AX IEEE 802.11x is the successor of 802.11ac and will increase the efficiency of WLAN networks which is not yet released it will come up in the year 2019 this standard has the goal of providing 4x the throughput of 802.11ac standard so they are going to achieve good throughput in this Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you. Bye bye.